Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Lindsay Riley with your 12 News weather impact from tonight. We definitely got our first sense of the monsoon right here in the valley. Lots of folks taking pictures. I want to share a few with you up toward Morristown and looking to the south. We had a beautiful rainbow and of course the storm clouds, the rain coming down. Stephen capturing this on our Facebook page and then out in surprise after the dust settled, we had a nice looking sunset. You see a little Virga there and the silhouettes of the palm trees. And here, even up in Cordes Lakes, it was an active weather day with the cloud to ground strikes coming down out toward Cordes Lakes. David Carter sharing this on our Facebook page. Here's a look at the current radar because we are not done with the storms yet. A lot of what you're actually still seeing is what formed on some of the outflow boundaries from some of the thunderstorms earlier. So we're still contending with some uh, storms storm activity across the uh, at least the valley right now. Nothing is severe, but some of these early were very heavy rain producers, especially out toward Cave Creek east of Cave Creek. There were some spots that saw over three inches of rain, so we're going to take you on a little bit of a radar tour right now. The most active part in the state is down across Pinal County, and you can see the coverage of the storms pretty widespread, but also the movement of these storms has changed earlier. They were going from south to north right now they are going from north to south toward the Tucson area so winds have shifted and you can see that activity heavy downpours within some of those cells gusty winds but they are falling below severe limits notice a couple pockets of rain uh, some brief pockets around the 51 and the 101 and also outside of Cave Creek even Peoria we had some raindrops outside the surprise and El Mirage this afternoon and this evening further to the north we're still not done. We have thunderstorms in between Prescott and Black Canyon City. These are losing some of their intensity. So overall, over the next couple of hours, these storms will become less intense and they will begin to fizzle out during the overnight. Globe had several hours in a row today of heavy rainfall. We just had thunderstorm after thunderstorm developing right over Globe. Several inches of rain fell there. Showers have come to an end now along the rim and out toward the White Mountains, southeastern Arizona, still seeing some activity at this hour. And here's the statewide view up to the north, just a little bit of shower activity left near the Utah state line, but it's really the most active along I-17 down through the valley and into Pinal County along the I-10. We are done with the dust threat for tonight, so not going to be tracking any more blowing dust like we had earlier. And in terms of our chances for rain in the valley, really by by midnight tonight, we're done and it's going to remain dry through the overnight. It will be a dry, muggy start to the day tomorrow. Here's our hour by hour forecast heading into Tuesday. The morning temperature still at 92 at 7 a.m. It's going to be a very warm and humid start. We're already in the triple digits by 11 a.m. Highs are going to be around 110. And once again tomorrow, we could see a late day shower or storm in the valley. Northern Arizona of the coverage is going to be higher for the rest of the week. As you can see here, anywhere from a 40 to 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms over the next three days. Chances will start to go down there a little bit on Friday and Saturday. Here in the valley, the next three afternoons, we will have slight chances and then drying out heading into Friday and Saturday. Here's our ex exclusive monsoon meter. Tomorrow we have a two on the meter, indicating that late day chance is going to be isolated. Not everyone's going to see the rain. But up in the high country, we are talking pretty widespread coverage during the day. And the humidity that you felt today, that is going to stick around. So not only will we have the high heat, 111 in fact, tomorrow in Phoenix, we're also going to have a bit of a heat index because our humidity levels are on the high side. Dew points have been in the 50s and 60s all day long today. This is what our Tuesday looks like. Pretty dry out toward Quartzsite, Lake Havasu, Page hitting 101 tomorrow. But notice the thunderstorm icons from the Grand Canyon over into Prescott, Payson, Sholo. That's where storms are going to be the most widespread. And again, across the lower deserts, we're just looking at an isolated storm chance for the day on Tuesday. 
Tuesday. Flagstaff, though, that's another story. We've got the thunderstorm icon every day. Coverage will be 50% or more through Thursday, and then we'll start to so see that go down toward the weekend. Here in the valley, we're staying mostly dry, but we will have a slight chance Tuesday and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we're starting to dry out. Temperatures generally anywhere from 110 to 114 for the next seven days. Be sure to join us on TV on 12 News at 10 as we update the radar. We'll let you know where the storms are at that point, and we'll have an update on what you can expect for your Tuesday. We'll see you at 10 o'clock.